All right. A federal court in California has found that Bored Ape Yacht Club ripoff NFTs violated Yuga Labs copyright. So Ryder Ritz and Jeremy Cahan are the two people behind the RR Bored Ape Yacht Club NFTs, which feature primates that are posing similar to the Bored Ape Yacht Club primates, and they also use similar marketing materials. The two say their collection is satire and contains Easter eggs that speak to numerous stories surrounding the collection. Wendy, I'm going to pass this one off to you. What do you make of this win for Yuga Labs? Okay, so I'm very excited that Yuga Labs did win. Um, I'm going to keep this as calm as possible because I was actually in a space when a lot of this stuff was happening and I kind of went off on these people um, about their reason why they were doing this and it was just kind of an embarrassment to um, a lot of different things. Um, but I'm glad that they won. I think that some of the things that we do see happen on crypto Twitter or NFT, uh, NFT Twitter and just like a lot of the discourse we have, a lot of it is clout chasing and we saw a lot <laughs> on crypto Twitter happen over the weekend. I think it's just kind of silly at this point and I'm glad that this that Yuga Labs did stand up, um, did take them to court. I'm not a really big advocate for like tattling and doing those types of things. But at the same time, if you're running a company in a business and somebody's trying to um, do things that are ridiculous and kind of slander you, there is like kind of a fine line with that. So I think that this is an important win for the future moving forward, especially into the NFT space, because these profile pictures are supposed to be the 10,000 generative collections and others that are similar. They're supposed to give the holders different types of opportunities and rights, like the IP rights and the licensing to where they can actually monetize that. And that's kind of why we decide to invest in some of these projects. So I'm glad that they won. All right, I'm going to play devil's advocate on this one. This one is definitely a loss for like the permissionless nature of the crypto economy, right? This is the, like so far from code is law, so far from build on these open networks that it's laughable, right? This is about IP <laughs> ruling in court. And the fact that some of the big biggest brands of Web3 are turning to this as their recourse sort of suggests that some of these bigger ideas that animate the crypto space are not at play here. So I'm just going devil's advocate style. I don't know if that's necessarily um, is bad that this IP is being protected this way, but I think it is really, really far from the original ethos. We're all so ready thing. to fight you, Zach. Yeah, I, we're all ready to I'm with Zach. Zach, Zach, Zach it is on, me and I'm Jen, it is on I'm, site and consensus. It is on I'm going to go harder than both I know Will. I know Will. I'm, I'm tossing to Will. His hand was up first. <laughs> Thank you, Zach. Nice little tag team here. Okay, first of all, we have to disclose that Wendy is a bag holder in this situation. So, of course, she's going to side with Team Yuga Labs, which is stamping down on the satires out there. Satire laws are a thing for a reason. We should protect humor at all costs. You have the ability to make these things. You have the ability to right-click save and print it back on chain. That is okay. The whole point of an NFT is the fact that I have a hash that points back to the original artwork, and that is what's supposed to hold its value. Not the law system, not these courts that they go to. And it's just sort of laughable that Yuga Labs goes and slaps someone else out there who's just a creator. You know, they're a creator just like the Yuga Labs people are creators. You just don't like what they're doing. This might be a derivative of your content. It might be making fun of it. You might not like the reasons for it. But you should have the ability to do it, and Yuga Labs shouldn't be going after them. Zach, I don't know. We can't go much harder than that, though, because, you know, we might end up in a lawsuit if we say stuff too much. And, you know, Wendy might even be on the other side of that lawsuit, uh, taking us down. Yeah, represented by Jen. Wouldn't that be represented great? By Jen. Yeah, Jen, Jen and Wendy yeah. versus Will and Zach in court, in the hash court. Okay, some, I want to just... We need some lawyers in our corner. <laughs> I want to say, Will, you can't be out there tricking people. And if this is satire, show me how check it's the chain. satire. Jen, it's check just the chain. It's similar. Yeah, I know. But if they're out there, like, representing themselves as, as the Board Ape Yacht Club and people are spending you their hard earned the chain. money on it, what's the recourse we should take? Like, this law exists in the real world. There are trademarks. You wouldn't be saying the same thing if someone went out and made, like, a fake pair of Nike shoes. And so I just don't think that that argument is warranted here. I think if it was actually satire, then that's great. But I think that there's a stretch here in saying that this collection is satire. And Wendy, before I kick it off to you to just give us the, you know, the like home run in our argument, I, I want to say that the judge disagreed with Rips and Cahan. So they said that because NFTs aren't tangible, they aren't protected under the acts that protect and govern trademarks. The judge said that NFTs is virtual Virtual goods still qualify as goods under the Lanham Act due to their unique traceable and brand associated characteristics. Wendy, take us home. I'm going to actually leave it 
Um, with your statement, Jen, you are my legal counsel in this particular situation. <laughs> I will send you um, one ape coin to um, for, you. Re- to retain you. Um, <laughs> but and yeah, there was a lot of other sensitive things. I don't know if this it's family friendly to talk about in consideration with this lawsuit that happened. A lot of slander that did go on um, towards the Yuga with this particular lawsuit and things that were said on the internet. I don't want to go into that, but I want to. 